Benvenuto a Puglia! Puglia, a southern region of Italy, better known as the heel of Italy's boot, is famous for its olive oil production, orecchiette pasta and beautiful whitewashed hill towns. If you are planning to stay somewhere between Monopoli and Ostuni, keep watching, because I will share 5 of my favorite day trips to the most beautiful villages in this region of Puglia. Monopoli is a charming coastal town with whitewashed houses. It often goes unnoticed by tourists because it is stuck between the larger cities of Bari and Brindisi. Which is probably how Monopoly managed to keep its genuine, lived-in ambience. This is a place where you still get a taste of the southern Italian daily life. As soon as you step inside Monopoly's ancient city walls, you will be surrounded by winding alleys lined with whitewashed homes with green window shutters. Balconies are often decorated with flowers in full bloom and pots with massive cacti can be found everywhere. Monopoly's Cathedral is a must-visit when exploring Monopoly. The historical center houses about 20 churches. I dare you to find them all in the winding streets. The areas around the Santa Teresa da Villa and the Chiesa Rettoria San Leonardo di Doblac are fun to explore and have a very medieval feel. The most photogenic little church I found was the Church of Saint Vitus Martyr in the Via San Vito. Porto Antico is a small harbour in the old town centre and definitely one of Monopoly's most picturesque features. Little blue fishing boat stands gently on the azure blue water in stark contrast to the whitewashed buildings of the old town. You can even see the fish swimming through the crystal clear water. If you are lucky you will see fishermen arriving with their catch of the day. Both locals and tourists love to gather here with picnics. It is also the perfect place to enjoy sunrise and sunset. Wandering along the Lungomare is one of the most local things to do in Monopoly. It takes you along the old city walls and the bastions, along the waterside and different beaches. About 8 kilometers from Monopoli you can find Polignano a Mare. This charming seaside town is nestled on a 20 meter high limestone cliff overlooking the Adriatic Sea's pristine waters. It is smaller but way more touristic than Monopoli. It is the perfect place for a day out to get an aperitivo and to get some souvenirs because it has the cutest boutiques. The town has a very lively ambience. Its most famous feature is probably its compact cove beach Lama Monachile with its impressive cliffs and Roman bridge. Various viewpoints are spread along the coastline to offer some magnificent views. Don't forget to explore the town's narrow alleys where it is usually more calmer. Ostuni is a beautiful town perched on top of a hill overlooking eternal olive groves and a sparkling Adriatic Sea. It is known as La Città Bianca, the White City, thanks to its whitewashed houses and surrounding city walls. It is one of the oldest towns in the region. Ostuni kept its authentic medieval charm but also houses some trendy bars and restaurants. Ostuni is a perfect blend of old and new. The streets of Ostuni's Centro Storico seem to twirl around the hill forming a magical wonderland. A labyrinth of white alleys and stairways decorated with cacti and flowers leading to hidden corners and squares is waiting to be explored. The best way to spend your day in Ostuni is to just wander these narrow streets not knowing where you will end up and discovering one surprise after the other. One of the most popular things to do in Ostuni is climbing up the main street via Cattedrale and visiting the Cattedrale Santa Maria Assunta. Across the cathedral you can find the Arco Scoppa, an arched loggia connecting the Palazzo Vescovile and the Palazzo del Seminario. Nearby you will also find Ostuni's famous door called the Gateway to Salento. 
This steel door is painted in the colors of the olive groves and the Adriatic Sea and contrasts with its surrounding white walls. It appears that the only thing behind it is the valley that drops into the ocean. Locorotondo is one of the most beautiful towns in the Valle d'Itria. Its historical center is also perched on top of a hill. Locals still live in the historic center and it's not packed with bars, restaurants and shops, which is why it kept its authenticity. While wandering through its narrow alleys, I encountered nonas hanging their laundry and cleaning their house. Everyone makes sure their plants keep blooming and their cacti keep being in place. This town is so clean and well maintained. The sense of fresh laundry and authentic Italian cuisine kept seducing my nose. When visiting Puglia, make sure not to miss out on this beautiful village, because it truly is a gem. Besides wandering its cute streets, make sure to walk along its edges to take in the views of the surrounding fields, and I also love to walk down so I could see the town from below. Albero Bello is the most famous village of Puglia, so make sure to arrive early on your day trip. The town is truly unique on its own, since it is the only place where you will find thousands of truly so close to each other. Etrullo is a traditional Apulian limestone hut with a cone-shaped roof. Albero Bello has a dreamy historic center that consists of two districts with picturesque streets lined with trulli. Rione Monti and Rione Aia Piccola. Rione Monti is the biggest and busiest district of Albero Bello. It starts at the Chiesa di Sant'Antonio di Padova, on top of the hill, and goes down to Largo Martellotta, which is the beating heart of Albero Bello, with restaurants and bars. It consists of three main streets and a few side streets filled with little bars and cute shops selling mostly souvenirs like ceramics, pottery, magnets, pasta, olive oil, art and handmade textiles. Rione Aia Piccola is situated on the other side of Largo Martellotta. Since it is mostly inhabited by locals, you get to experience a more unique local vibe. There are no tourist shops here, but I did find an elderly couple who seem to sell fruit and veggies in front of their house. I loved this part of Albero Bello because it was more peaceful. Just take your time to stroll around the streets and take photos. Albero Bello has some nice viewpoints you can enjoy. These were my 5 favorite day trips in Puglia near Monopoli. More details and information about where to stay you can always find in the video description below. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching!